Well, good morning. This is Hero again. What are we going to do today? Well, I'm thinking let's take a little tour of my nursery before I get started. So in a week or two, uh, after we know for sure everything is going to be cooler, uh, we'll start this series on uh, the pines. So we still are in our pine uh, section. These are the Niwaki. Uh, they're meant for the Japanese garden. or. If you have a very, very big uh, planter on your patio, you want some big tree, I guess these will work. So we will be looking at individual trees um, later on, and we'll do a chapter on either one or two trees at a time. And I think I told you in the past, we have red, black, scotch, uh, I think I have, have a few Ponderosa and Mugo. So that's coming up in the next uh, few weeks. Okay, you can see that on uh, the other side here. This is across from our classroom office. We have uh, pines, boxwoods, and ginkgos. As we get inside the fence, this is where a lot of my pricey, uh, more mature plants are. Here's uh, one of my better pines. I think you'll be seeing me work on this in the near future. So, as we pan around, there's all kinds of material. I bet you're starting to recognize some of these being shown before. As you're watching, You'll notice a lot of this needs work. Well, what I'm waiting for is cool weather. Actually, I could have started most seasons by now, but the pines, uh, the healthy ones will poke you. And when they poke you, you will sometimes end up with rash. So I like to wait until it gets cool enough that I could wear a long sleeve. I'm wearing a long sleeve this morning because it's kind of chilly, but by the time the sun comes up, it gets pretty warm. So that's what I'm more or less waiting for. I'm towards the back end of the nursery. And I'll just keep panning. Yeah, I think as I pan, you'll start to recognize some of the stuff that I've done chapters on. Uh, straight ahead, that's a magnolia. And I'm only doing it because I read somewhere that it cannot be done. And you know me, hey, if you, somebody says it can't, I'm going to find out if I really can't. It's working out okay. Okay, this is kind of in this little building. Oh, this big one here. It might be leaving. I don't know. Somebody was showing interest in it, but he couldn't carry it home. So if he wants this, he's going to have to go get his truck. 
so anyway yeah a lot of stuff that needs work that's why it's so easy for me to make these videos uh, we'll get to these in detail but we're looking at red pine red pine ponderosa I think that could be a black and a black or it could be a red and a black but anyway I got all these plants okay this is a crepe myrtle till end as it starts to cool down it will no longer bloom and leaves will start changing color and fall off uh, okay another angle uh, there's a bunch of pines and as we get under the shade structure there is a lot of um, let's see elms there is a rosemary and assortment of other plants okay along the building is nice plants more or less affordable compared to some of the others that are extremely expensive but you know what people are starting to buy more and more of my expensive things because they realize that it's quite old and if you're getting started and you're already of mature age then you don't want to start from the beginning with a little starter plants you'll take forever okay these are in full sun well what we're looking at right now is zelkovas zelkovas like chinese elms and things like that really loves the heat so as i pan around there's a lot of elms along the fence and in the foreground we have olives You're wondering what the heck is that hanging on the fence that's loofahs um, I've never had any so I thought I'd give it a try um, in the earlier part it did nothing it just sat there as a little plant and as the summer went on towards the ten tail end they're growing like crazy uh, it has nothing to do with bonsai but that's the kind of stuff that I do around here to keep myself entertained. Here is a nice big olive. Okay, this is the area of affordables. And it's getting less and less. Uh, currently, these are the smallest that I have. And I used to have two sizes smaller meaning it was much cheaper but I'm almost out of that size and gonna be running out really soon uh, this is the batch I think we did a chapter on uh, materials I think currently this is probably some of the best for the buck it's old enough to uh, have really nice shape and fairly good sized trunk yet still won't break the bank now like I said I no longer have starters okay this section here we have a lot of boxwoods very badly in need of printing uh, straight ahead is my drive-through oh yeah and then that one over here remember my peacock and we got some mid-range materials 
these been selling well also well my master plan uh, it has to do with my parents they were both lived to be almost 90 but I noticed they were slowing down at about 80 so I'm hoping that I could follow in their footsteps and uh, stay healthy until 80 well I'm 73 now so I have seven more years to get rid of all this inventory hopefully you enjoyed this little tour of the nursery um, I'm gonna get back to making uh, new videos uh, I bet you were getting kind of tired of my old videos well I needed to take the time because of that transition that I'm working on I'm still having problems but hopefully from now on we'll have new videos uh, with clear clearer pictures and better sound so after this chapter I'll start the pines and hopefully we'll get some really detailed stuff anyway this is hero saying goodbye I'll see you again in another chapter real soon